the circumstances under which Russia will have to use the nuclear weapons. Ukrainian military vehicles and military weapons being destroyed, missiles called caliber being launched from Russian Navy ship, airstrikes in the city of Lviv, Russian distant mine planting system, Ukrainian missile system called Buk being destroyed, anti-aircraft missiles from Sevastopol. What's up investors, it's the Russian dude and this is your daily update on Russian-Ukrainian war. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of UK announced the requirements for Russia under which they will remove sanctions from the country. And the biggest requirement that UK side gives to Russia is that Russia must remove all of its military forces from the territory of Ukraine and guarantee the security of Ukraine in the future. In this video you can see allegedly Ukrainian missile system called Buk being destroyed by Russian airstrikes. And in this video you can see missiles called Kaliber being launched from Russian Navy ship. The ex-president of Russia Dmitry Medvedev mentioned the circumstances under which Russia will have to use the nuclear weapons. First and the main reason it is if nuclear weapons will be used against Russia or any of its allied countries. Second, if the infrastructure responsible for nuclear defense of Russia will be in critical condition, in this case Russia will have once again to use nuclear weapons. And third, if there is any outside aggression against Russia or any of its allied countries, Russia will also have to use nuclear weapons. And if you want to continue receiving such daily updates, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also feel free to share this video with your friends or anywhere else you want. Thanks so much and let's continue. The president of the US, Joe Biden, did a press conference recently and these are his main statements. First of all, he mentioned that regular Russians are being cut from the rest of the world and previously they were living in the 21st century country, while now this is a 19th century country. Second, the presence of American soldiers in Europe is not to engage Russian army, but instead to prevent Russia from advancing further. The third thing is that in the nearest future, the GDP of Russia will be cut in half. Next thing, he mentioned that Putin should not be in power anymore. And once again, the reaction of the White House was immediate and they mentioned that this is a personal point of view of the president alone. So basically, as you can see, even the White House doesn't always support what President Joe Biden says. And the last thing he mentioned is that European countries should reduce their dependency on Russian energy sources and USA will be ready to help countries with the replacing of these sources. In this video you can see allegedly Ukrainian military vehicles and military weapons being destroyed in Chernigov, Ukraine. The president of the United States, Joe Biden, called Vladimir Putin a butcher. And I mean this is not the first time the president allows himself to freely speak like this and most likely it's not the last one. The response of the White House was immediate and they mentioned that this is individual point of view of the president and this is not the point of view of American government. And I mean yes, you can call him whatever you want for as long as you own up to your words. Because another thing is that Joe Biden allows himself to call Putin whatever he wants while being on another side of the planet. Which are basically empty words but at the same time this greatly escalates the conflict on the Ukraine. It's like be a man and actually do something or just don't say anything and not make the situation even more difficult. These are not the pictures from Ukraine. These are pictures from former territories of Yugoslavia including Serbia which were heavily bombed by NATO in 1999. And the reason for bombings it is because Kosovo wanted to become an independent republic from Yugoslavia which Serbians didn't like. And so as a result NATO was bombing Yugoslavian and Serbian cities. And the justification for these bombings was to prevent the future humanitarian crisis. And by the way these bombings were not approved by other international communities. NATO just decided that they're gonna do it anyways. And as a result of these bombings around 1700 people died including around 400 children. But well you know NATO is not Russia so of course all of this was justified. It has also been reported that all the new Russian army recruits can be directly sent to Ukraine. Which basically imagine this you're just 18 year old guy who have absolutely no military training and just couple of weeks after you join the army you are sent to Ukraine. This is the list of current countries which provide military aid to Ukraine and what type of military aid. This is pretty important screenshot here so feel free to pause this video if you want to see more details. Some Ukrainians started spotting new markings on Russian military vehicles and tanks. As you can see here this armored military personnel carrier has O on its side. In the very beginning of this war Ukrainians started to plant mines in the beaches of Odessa to make it difficult for Russian Navy forces to advance. Couple of weeks later it was reported 
reported that some of these mines started to be washed off into the sea. And indeed last week Turkey representatives started mentioning that they were able to find some floating mines very close to their territory. And as a result of finding these mines, Turkey prohibited fishing at night starting March 26th. In this video you can see close combat action by soldiers from Chechnya against Ukrainians in Mariupol, Ukraine. These are the protests that can be seen on the streets of Slavutich, Ukraine amid gunshots that can be heard in the background. People in Ukraine are still using subways as bomb shelters. The Consulate General of Russia in Prague, Czech Republic was sprayed with fake blood. In this video you can see a couple of airstrikes in the city of Lviv, Ukraine. In this video you can see Russian distant mine planting system called Zemledelia in action. This map shows countries which are highlighted in yellow, which are currently imposing sanctions on Russia. And yes, once again, if you want more details, feel free to pause the video. Volunteers from South Ossetia and Abkhazia are going to join Russian army in Ukraine. And in this video you can already see some military vehicles carrying South Ossetia flags. There was a very big fire spotted in Kharkiv, Ukraine. And this dashcam footage shows the launch of anti-aircraft missiles from Sevastopol, Crimea. Several car manufacturers, including Hyundai, Toyota and Nissan, will resume the manufacturing of their cars in St. Petersburg, Russia. The Moscow Stock Exchange will remain open this week. Last week only government bonds, treasuries and 33 biggest blue chip stocks were available to be traded. And as of today, all the rest companies on the Moscow Stock Exchange will once again be available for trading. The President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, signed an order under which every single soldier who was fighting in Donbass region is now recognized as a veteran of war action. In this picture you can see Russian tourists in Thailand waiting in line for their visas to be extended. In order to support the Russian economy, Vladimir Putin signed an order under which individual investors are no longer required to pay taxes on their interest payments that they receive in bank deposits. The usage of the letter Z which you can find on Russian military vehicles in Ukraine is being heavily promoted inside Russia for civilians. But the only restriction here is that you cannot use Z if you are writing the two following words which are ZLO, evil and fascism. In this case if you use Z in either of these two words you can be fined by $300. Previously Visa and Mastercard has announced that they are leaving Russian market. And in response Russian started opening their own credit cards called MIR. Last week Apple mentioned that they'll be no longer accepting this credit card MIRs in their Apple Pay system. And recently Google also announced that they will no longer be accepting credit card MIRs for their Google Pay. After Russians removed its peacekeepers from the territory of Karabakh, which is in between Armenian and Azerbaijan, the conflict once again started developing. And as of this weekend, it is now a martial law on the territory of Karabakh. The Ministry of Internal Affairs of Belarus mentioned that every single Belarus citizen who will be found fighting for Ukrainians in this war can face criminal charges. The US threatens if other countries will assist Russia to avoid sanctions, they will also be punished. And first of all, among these countries are India, China, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Armenia. As soon as Meta and other social media platforms were banned in Russia, this is how the usage of social media has changed in Russia. As you can see, the usage of Instagram dropped by approximately 30% and Facebook was about down 10%. And in the meantime, the usage of Contactia, which is the equivalent of Facebook, has increased by 14% and the use of Telegram, which is the equivalent of WhatsApp, has increased by approximately 23%. Thank you so much for the support, stay safe and see you next time.